Games Transmissions Live. I am your host, Will Pagani. Yay. I'm not really your host. I'm just here to teach Josh Cologne. Hi, everyone. Our lovely art director, how to play Star Wars Legion. I am so excited to be here. I've wanted to learn to play this game for years, uh, and I'm really excited, a little nervous. So please be nice to me, chat. I know. Uh, as Josh I'm, is going in blind. Yeah, I literally so don't know go. how to play this, so I'm really, but I'm really excited to learn. Here we go. And you guys to watch me fumble. <clears throat> So, uh, this is Star Wars Legion, Josh. Okay. It is an army scale game where you play the lovely armies of Star Wars against each other. There are usually objectives, and usually the table is twice this big. Okay. Uh, but we're just going to be doing a little intro game here, so we're not getting super fancy with all the cool stuff. We're Got it. We're not going to be doing battle cards. We're not going to be doing any of that kind of stuff. We're just going to be rolling some dice, blowing up some stormtroopers, blowing up some clones. Maybe these Wookiees will have a great day. Maybe they won't. Uh, and I will say, Josh, that I have never won a game of Star Wars Legion on live stream. Ooh. So but I'm the new your, one. Now so is your chance. But I'm the, I'm the rookie, so we're going to let the my chance? Are we going to let the Wookiee win? You know what I mean? You there know what was saying? a you know what I mean, saying? There, hey, they, are. there they are. So, fantastic. Uh, let us start by talking about some dice for a second here. Okay. So there are two types of dice in Star Wars Legion. There are defense dice, which are six-sided dice, and there are attack dice, which are eight-sided dice. Okay. Uh, Really what you need to know about these is that there's two different symbols on defense dice. There are blocks and there are surges, okay. defensive surges. Uh, and then white dice have less blocks than the red dice. Okay. Uh, surges are something that are used when you roll the dice. Your stack cards, which we'll talk about in just a moment, uh, have some symbols on them that will show you what to do with the surges. They usually convert into other symbols on the dice. And a blank is like a fail, basically. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. A blank is okay. a blank. It doesn't okay. do anything. Okay. Uh, I mean, un unless you have a special rule that says it does, but we don't have any of those. So. Okay. Well, you use your right hand and hold up the dice so my right hand? Yeah. Well, like, keep them in the same. Keep them in the same place. Just use your other hand. There you go. Your left hand is blocking. Oh, from, from that camera. camera. Yeah. yeah. Which Got camera's it. on here, Tony? You that put this one. one. Great. Okay. And then we have three different types of attack dice. We have white attack dice, black attack dice, red attack dice. Uh, the white one has the least number of successes. The black has the middle, and the red has the most. Uh, unlike defense dice, there is an extra symbol on these. There are hits on this one here. Uh, there are crits, which are extra good. Uh, they don't get blocked by cover, and you can't dodge a crit. Okay. Uh, and then there are uh, surges, much like surges on defense dice. You will have a stat on your stat card that will tell you that they become hits or crits. Awesome. So let us talk about a stat card real quick. Tell cool. me if you would be so kind as to give us a beautiful stat card here. I believe we've got a Luke Skywalker popping up here. You give me, oh, we got a thumbs up. Great. Uh, so there's a bunch of things that happen on a stack card. I'm not going to go through all of it. I'm just going to go through the important parts here. Mm -hmm. The name of the unit is here at the top, uh, and it says Luke Skywalker. Directly to the right-hand side of that, uh, there are your rank, uh, which is that little symbol above the number one on this stack card. The number one says that there is only one Luke Skywalker in a unit of Luke Skywalkers. Ooh. If that number was larger than one, it could be awkward. Uh, then, jumping back over to the left side of the card, you've got a point cost. Uh, on the far left there, and some upgrade slots. We're not going to be talking too, too much about upgrades here, Josh, but they do exist, and they give you additional special rules. They can be anything from force powers, weapons, special comms, anything like that. They let you customize a little bit. Yeah, they okay. give you, th this becomes your Luke Skywalker. Got it, okay. That kind of thing. Uh, in the middle, you've got jump one, charge, deflect, and immune pierce. Those are called special rules or keywords. Uh, and they give you these special things that the unit can do. So Luke Skywalker could jump over a building, uh, assuming it is height one or lower, as said here. Moving on over to the right-hand side, we have the word trooper. That tells you what kind of unit it is. Uh, in our game here, we're going to be playing with mostly troopers, though we do have some lovely speeder bikes over there uh, on the side of the Empire, so those will be a vehicle. So we can go over how vehicles work when we talk about those a little bit. But the stat card for a vehicle looks very, very, very similar to this. Okay. That little red cubey looking thing uh, just underneath the trooper word, that is what type of defense die you will roll. So if you remember, we talked about white defense die or red defense die. Uh, our lovely Luke Skywalker here would roll red defense die. Ooh, nice. The green number is the number of wounds that you can suffer before you are defeated. Oh, uh, okay. Underneath that is courage, which will deal with suppression. We'll talk about suppression throughout the game. Uh, which happens when you get shot, because nobody likes getting shot, Josh. That's right. Despite common belief. I'm afraid of it. I, I'm not a fan myself. Nope. That's never happened to me, but mm -hmm. I imagine it is uncomfortable. Yeah. Uh, underneath that, you will have your surges. So we see the attack surge icon here, uh, and then a colon, and then a crit. So whenever uh, Luke Skywalker here attacks, he will convert all of his surges into criticals for attacking. Got it. Okay. If he had a defensive surge, that would be located directly underneath that, and it would tell you what to convert it into, presumably a block, as that is the only other result on that die. Makes sense. 
Then you have the weapons listed. Uh, we have Anakin's lightsaber, spoiler alert, mm -hmm. uh, which is a melee weapon shown by that little red, red guy right there. Uh, and then how many attack dice it would roll, which would be six black dice. God, that's a lot uh, of dice. That is a lot of dice. And it's a lightsaber, so it's got some cool special rules, which are impact and pierce. Impact would help you blow up tanks. Pierce will cancel defensive results. Mm. Uh, and then Luke's blaster pistol here is range one to two. So ranges in the game are six inch increments that are shown by this range tool here. Got it. Uh, so yes. And then how many dice you would roll? You would roll two red, and you have pierce two. So. That is a stack card rundown real quick, what all the different parts are on there. Um, usually the back of the stack card will have definitions for things like impact or pierce like that if you have them. We do not have a back to show here, but that is what they would look like. Got it. And then moving on, uh, we've talked about dice, we've talked about stack cards. Let's talk about command cards, and then we can jump right into the game. Perfect. Uh, command cards, you have a command hand of seven cards when you play Star Wars Legion. Um, and each command card has what's called a pip value. So we are pulling up a command card on stream. It is already done. Tony's like, just keep talking. Don't look at me. I'm like, Great, we're going to go. Uh, so you see up there in the top left-hand corner, that is the pip value of the card. Uh, I don't know. What do you think a pip is, Josh? Is it like a dot? Yeah, yeah. it's like a numerical value of some kind, I sure. think. You uh, know? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I never really thought about I, this. I what mean, if they don't know what a pip is? Oh, man, that's a good point. Mm. I don't know. Anyways, the pip value there ranges from one to four. OK. Uh, the only four in the game is called standing orders. And it is kind of your, oops, I messed up and don't have a command card to play, so I will play standing orders. I'm sure I'll use that uh, one quite a bit. <laughs> uh, and then every other card in your command hand will have either one, two, or three. Got uh, it. The command hand is customizable. So you can build your own command hand. And each command hand must contain exactly two one pips, two two pips, and two three pips, and then standing orders. Oh, uh, OK. Uh, so uh, next to that pip value is the name of the card, Son of Skywalker. Um, in the top right-hand corner, you have the picture of what character can play it, along with their name. Um, underneath the lovely green lightsaber of Luke Skywalker here, we have the name Luke Skywalker. That box right there shows you who you can give orders to with this card. We'll jump to orders in just a moment. Uh, and then underneath that is the text box that tells you the uh, rules for that card. So that's command cards. That's stack cards. That's dice. Let's talk about orders, and we can jump right on in here. Perfect. So orders are represented by these tokens here. Uh, and if you remember on the stack cards, we talked about uh, the, the rank. Right. Each order token uh, has a faction back, so I'm playing the Galactic Republic and you were playing the Empire. Empire. Got it. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, look, look, our tokens are very similar. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Uh, so each one of these symbols represents a different unit. So I can just kind of put these out next to each unit here. We have core units. Uh, we have a commander. And we have uh, the whoa, special forces. I'm going to stick with special forces. I'm blanking on the name of this one at the moment. Um, so when we play a command card, we will issue orders. Uh, how you will do that is the command card, for example, push. Here says two units. So you can issue orders to anybody you want uh, that is within range three of a commander. Got so it. you would pick a commander to issue the orders. You can give out the tokens. Uh, and then from there, all the orders that are left that you haven't issued get shuffled together. In this case, it's only two. And they get set off to the side. Uh, I see. During each of your turns, you will choose to either activate a unit with a face-up order token, or you can draw one at random from these. Got it. And then you would activate a unit with a corresponding rank. Perfect. So I put these wrong. But so I would have to activate this unit here. We haven't actually deployed yet, so let's go ahead and do that. And then that should be everything that we need to to jump right on in. Perfect. Um, <clears throat> there's normally a bidding system for who would go first in this game. I'm just going to go ahead and deploy first. OK. Because I don't know, I'm teaching you. <laughs> and I'm learning. So how do you deploy? You put your unit leader within range one uh, of your Battlefield Edge, there's normally a deployment card that would tell you we're just going to play this whole way. Got okay? it. And then you put everybody else within a short movement of your unit leader. Got it. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and slam down all my guys. You go ahead and slam down all yours. All right. Let's and we see. can do it here. We can get this party started. Get this party started. I'm so excited. I'm being very tactical here, Josh. I just want you to know that. Oh, man. Well, that's not, I expect nothing less. The most tactical. Uh, and then Obi-Wan's going to hang out right here in the middle. So. My troopers are deployed. And oh, and I 
I got my speeders. Speeder uh, bikes. Is They're very zippy. Is there anything you want to say specifically about them, about their rules or anything? Um, yeah, so they are vehicles. They do have these notches in the front of their base. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so I guess we can talk about that now. They have a bunch of special rules. Whenever they move, they have to place the movement tool the wrong one here, uh, inside of this notch on the front of their base, and then they will zoom along it. Uh, because they're speeders, they can ignore terrain when doing so. Um, do that again, Bugatti. Oh, oh I'm, I'm being instructed to do it again. There we go. Yeah, so that'll get pushed in there, and then they will pop out the other end here. Uh, yeah, so that's how speeders will move. They can't move in any other way. Uh, the only other thing that they can do is pivot 90 degrees. Got it. Whoa, and I'm going to steal them oh, with my tool here. Uh, yeah, so they are less flexible in their movement, but they are very fast. They're going to get a compulsory move, so they get to move an extra time every turn uh, as a free action. So we got to shuffle up our command hands. we got to pick one here to play, and that's going to let us know uh, who has initiative for the round. OK, perfect. Uh, and how many orders we get to give out and all that good stuff. I'm ready. I got my command card. I do too. OK, let's reveal them. I got assault. I got ambush. <laughs> ambush. OK, so you have one pip on your card. I have three pips on mine. Okay. Yours is lower, so you get to go first. Okay. You issue your orders. What does your card say for your orders? One unit. Just one, one unit. So you nominate Darth Vader to issue orders. You can pick one unit within range three of Darth Vader, which is going to be any of your units. Uh, and you get to put one of their order tokens face up next to them. Oh, uh, let's see how fast these bad boys are. That sounds right. lovely. All right. Uh, and then I played Assault, so I get to issue three orders. So I will issue these three orders. And I will have one face down token, uh, which will be Obi-Wan. Now you shuffle up your remaining three orders. And that will create what's called your order stack. Got it, got or it. Pile, perhaps. All right. Uh, wonderful. You have initiative, so you get to take the first turn here. Okay. Uh, do you want to either draw a token from your order stack or activate your speeder bikes? Let me draw randomly. Let's trust Wonderful. it. Let's, trust Let's see what you force. get. Who do we got? In the dark side of the force. I think the this is just my side. unit. Yep, so that is a core unit token. Okay. All right. uh, and that, once again, corresponds to the stack card there. You can see what rank each unit is there. So I'll give it to the stormtroopers okay. here. Uh, you can make two actions when you choose to activate a unit. Okay. Uh, your actions are move. Uh, which is use moving the speed. I didn't actually talk about that on the stack card. There okay. are little red bars on your stack card there. That shows you which uh, How fast? tool you okay. use. Got yes. it, got it. So if there's one little red bar, use the one, two for two, three for three. Got it. Uh, yes, so move, uh, attack, which will, I'm sure will happen in a moment here, but probably not this activation, um, which will let you shoot your guns, punch people, do whatever you want to do. Uh, then we also have uh, aim, which will give you aim tokens, which are this guy right here. Okay. Uh, aim tokens will let you, you can spend an aim token to reroll two dice uh, during an attack. Awesome. And then dodge tokens, or dodge action, which will give you a dodge token. Uh, when you are being attacked, you can spend one dodge to cancel one hit. Uh, you cannot dodge criticals unless you have a rule that says you can. Got it. Uh, that, so that's one of the benefits of criticals there. Uh, okay. And then you also have recover, which will allow you to uh, clear suppression off of you as well as refresh any cards uh, that have been exhausted. Got it. Which uh, I do have one in my list. I'm using force push on Obi-Wan here. Uh, and that card does exhaust. So you get two actions. Can you, can you do any action twice? or So the only action you can do twice is move. Move. OK, got it. OK, I see. OK. All right, well, I, it looks like I want to definitely get in cover. So I'm just going to uh, have my dudes just Yes, cover is very important in this game. It, it is. And then I move my guys around. Yes. So you move your unit leader with your tool, like okay. you did here. Mm -hmm. And then each of your other troopers is mm -hmm. placed within a short move of your unit leader. Oh, so there's a little bit of flexibility. Mm -hmm. OK, mm -hmm. cool. All right. uh, Chad is asking if we are using updated points. Uh, I don't actually know what the point values for these armies are. These are very similar to the core set armies, uh, was our goal here. So. We're not really worrying too much about points here. So the Stormtroopers E11 blast rifles are range one to three. Mm -hmm. I think I'm probably like out, right? Probably. Mm -hmm. So you measure from your unit leader to any of my miniatures. OK. So uh, no, you can actually oh my fire goodness. at these guys okay. here. OK, all right, sure, all right. So how do I go up about attacking? OK, them? so we declare an attack action. OK. We then measure our range okay. for anybody that has eligible weapons, which okay. will be everyone. All right. 
Uh, and then each miniature can choose one of the weapons available to them to add to the attack pool. Got it. So you have four gentlemen here with regular E11 uh, blasters. Yep. That will give you four white dice per your stack card. Oh, so and we, then you we have like a dice pool or something. Correct, okay. yes. We're going to gather all of our dice together. And then we have a DLT 19, which I believe gets two red dice. Oh, yeah. A is little that upgrade correct? card. Yep. Yeah, little upgrade card. Yep. That, that is this fella right here. OK. Uh, so we're going to take these six dice, okay. and we're going to go ahead and roll those. Oh, okay. uh, all right. All of those attacks are in range here, and we are good to go. All right, this is for the Empire, everyone. For the Empire, this the good guys, the, perhaps. This is for the, this is for the, come on! Yeah. All right, so we have. Oh, I'm so sorry! Well, yeah, we're going to re-roll it oh, uh, right. in the dice tray. You know what, that's right, that's good. <laughs> for our that's very, right. that's very suboptimal. This is, so, so people know, we're in a new studio. <laughs> this is our brand new studio, and I'm going to use that as an excuse to why for Yes. To use the dice tray. Uh, uh, a well, much, a little a, better. A much better roll. Yeah. Much better. And I believe Stormtroopers have a surge. So if you look at their stack oh, card yeah. down and here, so they have to, surge yeah, hit. to hit. So we can change this guy to a hit. We can change this guy to a hit. Uh, and you can change all of your surge results. So we have one critical and three hits. So you are shooting through this barricade at this unit. Okay. So we will have cover. There are two levels of cover, light and heavy. Okay. Uh, light cover will prevent one damage. Heavy okay. cover will prevent two damage. Got it. So two of these hits are removed there. If I had a dodge token, I could now spend my dodge token. I don't. Uh, so I will have to make two armor saves because two hits made it through. Got it. Uh, my clones here are wearing lovely armor, much like your stormtroopers here. So okay. I get to roll the red dice, which are greater than the white dice the white here. Dice. Okay. So we get to roll two of these. Ha, we got two blocks. So we will cancel two hits. None of the clones no! mind too, too much about these blasters. No. OK. Uh, you've now done two actions. So that's it, right? Your activation's over. OK. You go ahead and flip your order token face down. Uh, I was attacked. It's pretty and simple. There were successful hits in the roll. Okay. So I gain a suppression, which we haven't talked too much about. Okay. Uh, suppression, if I have suppression equal to my courage value, I only get one action okay. during my activation. If I have it equal to double my courage value, I am fleeing and I run away. Okay, got it. Now, so Obi-Wan here okay. is very inspiring. So he can give his courage value to other people for the purposes of fleeing, but not for being suppressed. Got it. So it's going to be very difficult for these clones to run away, but they might still get suppressed. Got it. OK. Uh, at the start of their activation, they will also make it what's called a rally step, uh, which will give them a chance to remove any suppression on them. But it is a chance. You do have to roll dice for that. Got it. Wonderful. OK, so you've activated a unit. I will now activate a unit. I'm going to go ahead and activate these clones here. I don't have to draw randomly, because I can pick a unit with an order token. Flip it face down, and they can do their stuff. Uh, so they are going to go ahead, and they'll move over here. And they're going to touch this barricade. And then all these clones here will file in. And I also am range three. So I will go ahead and fire at your stormtroopers here. No. Yes. All right, so each of my rifles fires a black die. And then I have a Z6 blaster which fires six white dice. So here we go. God, that's so much dice. That's so many dice. Dice tray. Dice tray, thank you. I was about to roll. I already got here. yelled at by this chance. <laughs> so I'm sure no one else can smell that. Yes. Unfortunately, my clones uh, do not have a surge result. So all of these are going to go away here. And we got two criticals, Josh. Two criticals. So cover cannot block criticals. Okay. So normally you would have cover, but okay. it can only stop hits. Okay. So you've got to make two armor saves here. Okay, and they are red red defense red dice. Red defense so dice. Hey. Look at that. The armor of the Imperium. We did it. It's working out just fine we here. We did it. Just fine. Okay, so that is their activation. They are done. But I take suppression. You yes. do take a suppression because you were fired at. Oh no. Okay. Your turn. Oh, man, OK. Do it's you want to draw one from your pool, or do you want to choose a unit to activate that has a face-up order? Uh, let's trust in the force again. So let's do, oh, my other stormtroopers. OK, all right, I can do this. Um, oh, man, OK, so that they will, uh, I can do this. Come on, Josh. Uh, Tony, you're getting call outs in chat for the dice tray cam. They love it. Yeah, they love it. Cheers. It's clean, it's crisp. It's so, dice. so fresh, so clean. It's, it's dice. Um, <laughs> it's dice. Okay. Pure dice. It's really clean. All right, and let's let's just move up and try and shoot at those 
conquered over clone these, troopers. These cloney boys. Come on. We are in range three, so all of your rifles will be in range as well as your DLT. Okay, so I make my dice pool, so that would be okay. uh, five, one, two, three, four, four white dice, mm -hmm. and two red dice. Wonderful. Okay. All right. Uh, we've got to check for surges. We have no surges. We've got four white dice coming out there. We've got two criticals, so no cover here for me either. These criticals are getting rough. Mm -hmm. We'll make two saves. I do not have any surges on defense, so two of my clones will be defeated. Hooray. Uh, and then they will gain a suppression. Uh, and that's it? But they don't mind too much. Yes, that is it for them. Their token goes face down next to them to show that they have activated. All right. Hmm. Let's go with the Wookiees next. They're feeling a little saucy. So we measure from our unit leader. That is the too fast tool. We'll move to here. And then normally you'd put these guys here, but I'm going to move again. So I'm not going to put them out until I'm done moving. We'll put all of our Wookiees right there behind that barricade. Okay. okay. Uh, and then here's their token. So their activation is complete. All right. Um, I'll do uh, my speeders. There are speeders here. OK. So they have a face-up order, so you don't have to draw an order from your order pool. OK. Uh, they have a compulsory move, so they must move as a first action and as a free action. OK. And the movement is three. Mm-hmm. And they just move. Yep, so you have to put the tool inside the notch. OK. Oh, God. Precision. The most precise movement I've ever seen here, Josh. Got it's it. It's fantastic. And then just go like, over Go the wherever notch. you need to go. Yep, and okay. then put the back notch uh, into the tool. Perfect. OK. OK. And then that gentleman is just placed next to him. OK. And they have to have the same facing. Got it. All right, not in cover, Wonderful. but you know, whatever, they're fast. They're yeah, I mean, fun. they have cover one, so they will always have a, just a little bit of cover. Oh, OK, that's good. OK. Um, and you still get your two actions. Might as well, I guess maybe I'll aim. Can I do that, aim and Absolutely, shoot? Absolutely, yes, right. for sure. <coughs> All so right, we'll I'm get gonna, an aim token. I'm going to aim, and I'm going to shoot with my blaster. Oh, you want to go here? Yep. Uh, which, which blaster? Your I'll holdout blaster? Well, I have these AX-20 blaster cannon. Mm. And those have the thing. fixed front rule, so they can only shoot in a 90-degree arc in okay. front of your character. Which I think you, you are. And Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Uh, so uh, let's, let's do that. So it looks like it's a red, a white, and a black. And that's for each, for each of them. one. So oh you'll get oh two red, God. white, black. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Okay, and we're firing here. Yep. Poor gentlemen. Come on. Gentlemen clones. So, first up, do you have a surge? Uh, it looks like I do. We didn't roll any though, so that's yeah. okay. So, we have an aim token. Mm -hmm. Would you like to spend your aim token to reroll up to two dice? Probably. Yeah. I don't see why you wouldn't. Yeah, sure. Spend it. Cuz at the end of the round, you will lose all the green tokens that are on the table. There's that surge. There's that surge. So, a surge goes to hit. Oh, I lost it on this white die. There's only one. So we'll take that on out. So I've got five saves to make. Cover will make two of them for me. So I've got three left. We get to roll three defense dice here. We succeed with two of them. So one more clone goes down. And he will gain a suppression. Rough turn for the clones. Rough turn. Poor guys. Poor, poor guys. And that is their activation. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll go with my clones here. Uh, they have a suppression, so they have to try to rally. So you roll a white defense die to rally for each suppression you have. And if it comes up as a non-blank result, uh, which is a surge or a block, you get to remove a suppression. Got I do not get to remove my suppression, so I only get one action this turn, because I'm uh -oh. only courage one, uh, which will be to move. And I take my suppression with me. My token goes face down. I don't get a second action because I am suppressed. Now it is your turn. All right, well, the last one 
is of course the great Lord Vader. <laughs> oh man, it's so exciting. All right. Um, he moves pretty slow, though. <laughs> he's he's a slow boy. And that's fine. We're not going to shame him. I for prefer that. to call him plotting. That's right. He's plotting. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, and he, so he's got one upgrade. Gave him the saber throw upgrade. Oh, yes. Um, but Which I believe allows him to throw his saber up to range two. Or range two, and I don't mm -hmm. think I'm going to make it there, though. Well, we'll never know until we try. All right. Well, <laughs> let's give it a shot. Huh? Okay. And you want to check range two here? Yeah. Oh, looks like a yes. All right. It is range two, if I remember correctly. Yeah, range correct. one or two. Yep. Okay, let's do it. Um, and then, so he makes, performs one melee, uh, choose one of your melee weapons, which will be his lightsaber. Perform a range attack using that weapon against an enemy unit at range one or two, using half of that weapon's dice rounded up. This okay. is treated as an attack. Okay, so he's got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, so three red dice attack. Fantastic. All right, I can do that. That's not bad. I've had worse odds. Hey! It's pretty good. Do we have a surge on Darth Vader here? Uh, I don't see one. Am I no, on? there is not. Okay, right, there you go. So we've got one hit. Uh, I am in cover. So I will cancel that hit. Ooh! Dumb. That's okay. Woohoo! It's just a start. And that's it for my guys. Fantastic. Uh, I've got an Obi Wan here. Who I'm going to draw from this pile? It is a commander token. I think he's gonna he's gonna run on over here. We'll move once. We'll move twice. Okay, and that's the end of that there. So we then move on to the end phase. Bum, bum, bum. In the end phase, we clear one suppression off of all of our units. Okay. Uh, we would remove any green tokens that we had, which is mostly just aims and dodges. There are surge tokens as well, amongst okay. other things. But the big ones are the aims and the dodges. Sure. Uh, <clears throat> then we remove all of our order tokens from our units, and then we go back to a command phase. Oh, okay. And now we're into round two of the game. So, to the command hands. So we discard the one that we already used? Yes, yeah, okay. you can't use it again. Okay. So you can only use each of the cards once. Okay, got it, got it. Mm. I have picked my card. I am ready. Okay, okay. so then we reveal. I have two pips. Ooh, you have Master of Evil. Three pips. Three pips. So I will get to go first. OK. I will issue two orders. Uh, I will issue an order to Obi-Wan and to the Wookiees, mm -hmm. which will leave my two core unit troops okay. in my order pool. Two Vader and two units, so I'll just do this. Great. Okay, and then what is the text on your card? When Darth Vader is issued an order, he gains one dodge token. When Darth Vader activates each enemy trooper unit at range one or two, he gains three suppression tokens. <laughs> good lord. <laughs> um, good, good Vader. Oh, yeah, good, good. Not a bad lord, actually. Yeah. Not so bad, lord. So maybe just these guys. Probably them, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that's when Vader activates, correct? Uh, when Darth Vader is issued an order. He gains one dodge token. Yeah, the and then he activates. activates. Yep, yep. I yep, get a yep, bunch yep. of suppression. Got it, okay, got it. so it's my turn because uh, I had a lower pips. I only had two pips. You had three. Um, so let's go ahead and go with these lovely Wookies here. Mm -hmm. uh, they are armed with some combine carbines. Combines? Mm -hmm. Carbines. I'm sticking with carbines. Or just a type of blaster. <laughs> it is. Uh, so they will each get two white dice, and then the bowcaster will get a white and a red. Uh, so I actually don't have enough white dice here. I'll have to reroll one of these. Uh, and then they will have impact one and pierce one uh, from the bow caster. So they are going to fire their uh, carbines at these fine, fine stormtroopers no. here. No. All right. Not, not my favorite, Josh. Not my favorite. I do have surge to hit, so I'll have two hits, uh, which will both be canceled by cover. Uh, and then they're going to go ahead and dodge as their second action. Okay. Your move. Um, hmm. This is tough. <laughs> I guess I'll, no, I guess I'll do uh, my clone troopers. I mean, so like, 
It's sort of like this basic strategy, like, is it a lot of, like, same behind cover and shooting, like, in, in Legion as, like, kind of a, the general approach? Uh, definitely for ranged units, yes. You want to find a good place that you can hold down area, uh, usually overlooking an objective. We aren't really playing with one of those right now. Right, okay. Um, <coughs> that you can force an opponent out of cover to try to claim that objective is the hope. Um, and then you have the Jedi that are kind of playing this close combat. Lightsabers are obviously very, very powerful. So getting into combat with Jedi is, is very good. So it wouldn't really make sense for my stormtroopers to move forward right now to get closer uh, to... No, probably not. Okay. All right, see, that's what I'm trying to and if And if Darth Vader goes right now, it'll add a bunch of suppression to my units, mm -hmm. which will make it difficult for me uh, oh. in the future. That's why I activated one of these units beforehand. So, I mean, again, this is my first time. So if I activate Darth Vader <laughs> and I just walk up yeah, and just stand there... Well, just for activating him, you'll add three suppression to the clones right. and the Wookiees. And I just walk up to start getting closer. And I can walk him up twice. Mm -hmm. He can't do anything else, but he can walk up twice. Yes. Which, you know, is that he won't get anywhere, but he'll just be standing there. You know? Well, standing in the open is not super great. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know. Like, he, would he get murdered? Is he going to get murdered probably pretty quickly? He probably would. Hmm. But I want my Vader to fight Obi-Wan. All right, let's see, he's immune to Pierce. He does if have you look at Relentless here. After you perform a move action, you can perform a free attack. Oh my god, oh, okay, okay. So you can move twice and throw your lightsaber. And throw my lightsaber, right? Or I, could, or I can move twice and just make a regular attack if I'm in range? If you're in close combat, yes. And close combat is what? Base to base. Base to base? Yes, so you have to move and end that movement oh, in base to base with any man. miniature in a unit. But he's so slow, he's not going to get there. Oh, man, this is th these are the problems. <laughs> oh, okay, you know what? Okay, all right, what do I do? Okay, no, I know what I'm going to do. It's okay. fine. It's because he's got a dodge token. You've got a dodge token, He's brave. You're, you're invincible. He is, he's One brave. One dodge token. Yeah, man, come on. He's immune to Pierce. He's the master of the force. Super cool, right? Mm -hmm. We activate Darth Vader. I okay. Get, I go to hear everyone groaning. So okay. we get three suppression on each, right? Three. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. That's cool already. Uh, and, and that's going to be a real problem for these clones, right? They're Courage 1, so they're almost certainly going to be suppressed at the end of this. Okay, all right, all right, all right. And then we're going to, we're just going to do the best we can. Yeah, he's like not gonna. <laughs> he's not gonna make it too far. But I, I'm not. A, I'm not afraid. We're going. Yeah, I'm not afraid. We're going. I'm not afraid. Okay. All right. Uh, and then relentless, we get to make an attack. I, I will. I'll throw my lightsaber. You can. You can pick anybody you would like to throw your lightsaber at. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna throw my lightsaber at the guys right in front of me. That makes sense. I'm calling Obi Wan out. <laughs> I mean, you can throw it at Obi Wan. <laughs> Can I throw it at Obi Wan? Yeah, absolutely. All right, I'm gonna throw it at Obi Wan. Yeah, units don't block line of sight or attacks. Or All right, I'm throwing. It's three red dice. Three red dice. I will have cover. Three red dice on uh, on Obi Wan Kenobi. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's do this. Come on. What do we got? Three hits. Three hits. Two of them will get canceled by cover, uh, and then Obi Wan will roll a red defense die, not out of the dice tray. He will roll it in the dice tray for a block. Boo. Boo. Okay. He's good. He parried that, that flying sword. That's fine, but it's just a warning. It's yeah. a warning shot. <laughs> and you've still got your dodge token. Yep, I still got my dodge token. So you are good to go. I'm not afraid. Let us move. Uh, chat, Master of Evil did trigger. We've got all the suppression out here now. Uh, goodness, what do I want to do? Well, let's go with these clones here. They will attempt to rally from their suppressive state. They will not do so. They will fire their weapons here. Uh, so the Z6 will get six white dice and then one black die for this fella's rifle here. Uh, we got one hit. You have cover one because you're a speeder. Mm -hmm. So we will have no hits. They're so, they're so, they're so dodgy. <laughs> so dodgy. All right. Uh, I guess I activated them without flipping a token, but there are only core units left in my stack, so we will oh, put that on there. Okay. So like, all right, all right. Hold on. Let's see, mm -hmm. again, again. I'm so sorry. It's my first game, everyone. So I'm learning. I'm yeah, not. I'm not being the master here. But okay. So you said units don't block line of sight. So I can't use my stormtroopers to screen Vader, right? Correct. That's not a thing. You could use a tank or something like that. Oh, but interesting. Not, not trooper units. Interesting. Well, then I guess the best thing to do is to provide cover fire for my Dark Lord. Um, 
and whittle down either these Wookiees or these clone troopers mm -hmm. as much as possible. Man, those Wookiees. So are those Wookiees like tougher? Like what do they have? Do they have anything? Uh, they have carbines, so they don't have the blades that the normal close combat Wookiees have. Can they so take they, more damage? Yeah, so each one of these Wookiees has three wounds. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yes, so... <laughs> so this might be a mistake. I'm going to focus on the clone troopers right okay. now. Okay. Uh, because those Wookiees are going to come out and eat me alive. Chat reminded us that because you threw your lightsaber at Obi-Wan, he got a suppression. <gasps> oh, take that. So that is still a ranged attack. Thank you, chat. Take that, Jedi scum. Okay, uh, so these guys will activate mm -hmm. and... Um, so you can only sh attack once. So I should just like maybe uh, I should do aim and then shoot. That sounds guys, wonderful. All right, let's do that. Uh, yeah, if your goal is to be as offensive as possible, right? Aim and then shoot is great. Okay. If you want to do kind of like what I did here with the Wookies, which was survive, uh, shoot and then dodge. Okay, got it. All right, Attack so and then dodge. I'm going to shoot at those clone troopers at wonderful. That'll be one's <laughs> finest and whittle them down. Uh, and they are one, two, three, four. So four white dice. And then I have the attached. Blaster thing on my bob here. All right, it's DLT six. 19 Come on, Long just, Blaster. Come on. Maybe the full name. Just give me. Don't hold me to that one. Just give me a good one. Ah, ah, I've had it worse rolls. <laughs> Chat knows. All right, so we got a critical and we got a hit, and you have a surge to hit. Yep. So we have three total. Uh, cover will pull two out. So we got a crit. One save. Come on. Nope. Take that. <laughs> uh, and they will gain another suppression. Wait, I didn't use four. my. Uh, oh yeah, you can aim. I didn't use. You my want to roll aim. two of your white dice? Yeah, I'm going to roll two dice. Uh, probably one of the red dice and one of the white dice. I'm over here, chat. You see, I'm sharking him here. Yeah. Oh, two see? more hit. Great. That's two more, the two more saves. Here we go. That's All the right. dark side. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Now it's all going according to plan. Have you altered the terms of the arrangement? Pray I don't alter them any further. <laughs> and now I'm, I'm done. Look <laughs> look how good of a Legion player I am, everyone. Yeah. We'll still have our four suppression on this little clone unit here. Do they gain any more from? Uh, they gained one more. So they had oh three from Master Darkness and one more. God. Obi-Wan here will attempt, will activate, and he will rally. I believe in him. He will not rally. Uh, yeah, and he. Ooh, I don't know if he can make it. So, uh, if you move over terrain, you have to use the short movement tool. Okay. So. Yeah. He will go there. Yeah. All but. right. This is all I cared about. Let's do this. Let's do this, everyone. Let's party. So then I will use my force power, force push. Choose an enemy trooper unit range one. Perform a speed one move with that unit, even if it is engaged. Hello there. So I will force push you into combat with me. Yeah. All right. And then I will attack. This is. Do dodge tokens work in melee combat? They sure do. Ah, this is the best epic. They sure do. Tony, cue the music. <laughs> John, you gotta bring your own music. Uh, that's right. I'm disappointed in the lack of sound effects so far. That is true. Sure. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So here is my lightsaber attack here. I've got a crit, a hit, and a surge, and I do not surge, so I have a crit and a hit. Uh, normally, I would have the pierce, which will cancel out your defensive results, but I believe... I'm immune to pierce! I'm immune to pierce. Ha! <laughs> Take so that! there you go. Okay, so you have to make two saves. Okay. Um, okay, and he also has to flag, but is that only for range? Is That's for range, yeah. While defending, okay. All right, oh, against range attacks, got it, okay. So uh, he's red dice, so it's two red dice, yes? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, you have to choose to spend your dodge token now before you roll if you want. Oh, yeah, so yeah, I have oh. a hit and a crit, so oh. you could dodge the hit. I mean, this has to happen. This has okay, to, this so you only have to roll one save. Okay, now. this has to happen, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, that's right. You do not know the power of the dark side. Uh, that is obviously true. Woo! I've already cut both your legs off and one of your arms off once. Well, I, I, I'm better now. <laughs> I don't have the high ground, though. I, I, so. That's true, and I, I'm more robot now. I got it. Well, that, that was amazing. All right, now what? Um, that's it. That is it for me. Obi-Wan does have jump chat, uh, so he could have jumped over the barricade, but then it just would have been the same. Uh, I just would be a little bit farther forward, and we would still be in combat. I could not jump, aim, 
and attack uh, in one activation. Okay, I'm gonna activate these other clone, this, uh, these other stormtroopers. God, I'm getting, I'm getting so into it now. Um, mm -hmm. Oh my god. Okay, they're gonna move forward behind his other cover thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all, it's all great. It's all great. They're pressing forward, sir. They're all, they are gonna press forward. And to give you a little bit more of the mechanics over here, Josh, mm -hmm. while you move those, yeah. those stormtroopers here, uh, I did have to exhaust the card force push to use it. Oh, interesting. Uh, so normally I would have to rally until I could use it again. But I am a master of the force, so at the end of my activation, I can ready one oh. force power, so I can use it again next turn. Um, okay, they moved, and they're just going to take blaster shots. Uh, AA Minis asks, is aiming something that every unit can use? Yes, it is. Um, I will use my E11 blaster. Okay. Uh, for range three on these guys over here. Obi-Wan has charge? That's exciting. He does. All right, Get I could have aimed. Get well, well done, chat. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, so we've got this unit here. Mm -hmm. are they, where are they firing? Should I, should I attack you the cannot Wookiees? shoot into combat. Right. But the, those those guys over there. They have force They have force suppression. And the Wookiees are, are scary. Those they Wookiees, are. Those Wookiees are scary. Uh, yeah, I'm going to shoot at the Wookiees. And the Wookiees also deal with suppression a lot better because they have Indomitable. Yeah. So they will roll red dice instead of white dice is that special rule when okay. they take to rally. And they're also Courage 2 instead okay. of 1 for these clone units. I'm just glad Yoda is in here because he's friends with Wookiees. Okay, all right, uh, so I'm gonna make my dice pool. So it'll be one, two, three, four white dice. Mm -hmm. And then because of the upgrade, two red dice. Yep. And maybe I can roll good for once, come on. Here we go, we got a one surge. To a hit, because we are a stormtrooper. Yeah, so I think I got two only. Uh, looks like a critical and oh. two hits. You're right. shooting here. Wookies. Wookies. Okay, so we definitely have cover, so that'll mm -hmm. pull out these two. Mm -hmm. Wookies only have a white die save, uh, and they do not have a surge on their defense. So this mm. is very likely to work, unlikely to work out. We got a surge, which is nothing, so we will take a wound on this Wookie over here. Oh, I have a dodge. No, it was a critical. And that's it for that unit. Okie doke. Um, what do we got? I have one unit left, which will be this unit here. Uh, they will attempt to rally. They have four suppressions. So they'll roll four white dice. They'll remove two of their suppression. Um, so they have two left. And then, uh, yeah, they are suppressed because they're courage one. Mm -hmm. So they only get one action. Okay. We will go ahead and fire at this unit here. That unit? Have I, I haven't defeated a single guy? No. <sighs> Josh. Well, the force is with me today. Sorry. <laughs> oh, or you're letting the Wookiee win. Either way, I really appreciate it. <laughs> are you the Wookiee or are they? The, somebody's a Wookiee. I'm the Wookiee. Somebody's the Wookiee. Um, I've been known to rip the arms off of the protocol droids. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll fire at this unit here. Do it. Uh, so we'll get two, one black dice and six white dice. And here we go. Uh, I got one critical, Josh. So you will have to make one save. Uh, normally cover would block two, but cover cannot block criticals. So it's just one, one, one die? Yes. <coughs> Great. I just, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's the force. <coughs> Okay, your turn. Can I just say I'm having a great time playing this game? This is just great. <laughs> this is just great. It's wonderful. This is wonderful. I, every time you smile, it makes me smile, Josh. All right, so I now, want you to know that. now I just have my speeders. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, okay, so they have to move. They do have to move. Uh, uh, and you can displace units with them, okay. um, which is a little bit more into the advanced rules, but the short version is if you move and you stop on top of uh, one of my miniatures here, it'll push them out of the way and I'll get to move them a little bit. Oh, but you can like push me out of the way of stuff. Okay. Which can be useful to like displace troopers out of cover or things like that. Okay. Okay, so, um, and can it bet, I mean, you can bend the Absolutely. knuckle, right? Okay. Absolutely. But I don't want to do it too much because I want to s keep you within my range of yeah, if you wanted to fire at this unit, for yeah. sure. You could turn a little bit more and fire at this unit. Yeah. Up to you. Um, all right, well, let's, let's finish off these guys here. OK. So the unit will be in the front 90 degree firing arc of both, so you can use your large Blaster blasters. cannon. 
Okay, so that's two black, two red, and two white. Thank you so much. Uh, and you have done a compulsory move, so you still get another action. Oh, uh, I'll like aim. aim. Yeah, I'll aim. Fantastic. All right. Good and thing I aimed. We can spin the aim to reroll two dice. Oh, God. Once again, reroll red dice first, then black dice, then white dice. Okay. Uh, and the reason for that is the odds are best on those dice. Yeah. Okay. Do we have a surge? I believe we do. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a hit. So it looks like four hits. Mm -hmm. We've got cover, so we'll cancel two of them. So two saves. There are no more, Josh. Ooh. They would gain a suppression, mm -hmm. but there are no more. <laughs> well. So there we are. And that's their turn. That it is. I believe that is the end of the round. <coughs> and of round two. OK, so everybody clears one suppression. OK. Josh is like, I don't have to clear any suppression. Uh, they, sh they should have one suppression. Sure. <laughs> sure, yes. They should. <laughs> but they will clear it now. Um, we pick up all of our order tokens, and we lose all of our green tokens. So. Thanks, Shik in chat. Mm -hmm. Connie is just proving why the Empire phased out the clones. I believe, <laughs> it's I believe, rude? I believe it's rude. In you. I believe in you, but God. That is very rude. OK, uh, so then we move into our next command phase here. Oh, OK, right, right, right. Um, you can pick one of the cards you haven't played yet this game okay. and play it. Um, I can play any of them, OK, right, OK, all right. I might as well. Um, I'm going to do standing orders. I will ambush. Oh, no. So I have a one pip. You have a four pip. Mm -hmm. So I will go first. OK. I can issue one order. Right. Uh, generally speaking, you would only play standing orders if you had to, or oh. you wanted to not play one of your other cards. Is it illegal to play it? It's, it's legal. OK. It's okay, just okay. usually not a great idea. OK, got it. Well, you know, I just want to see what you know, how yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, I get you. I get you. Uh, OK, so here we go. I get to issue one order. Uh, I can remove one of these from my order pool, because they are no longer around. Uh, and I guess I'll do Obi-Wan. Yeah. So then I'll shuffle these on up. Mine, mine is, mine, mine's going to be Darth Vader. Yours? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. OK, I will, I will start off with Obi-Wan. Um, and he will go ahead. And aim and then attack. So we've got two red, two black, and two white dice. This is the only fight I care about now. I know. This is, this is the one that matters. This is the only thing that matters. Uh, so here we go. Come on. I will spend my aim to reroll these two. Ooh, well, I should have rerolled that surge, but that's OK. So we'll have three hits. Yeah, three hits? OK. So yep. I have to do three saves. Mm -hmm. Yes? All right, come on. Come on, Darth Vader. Come on, Darth Vader. Come on. <gasps> One. So All he'll right. take two wounds. All right, you know, that's fine. He's tough. He's got eight, so he's. That's a lot of wounds. He's not afraid to put him on the mini or do it. Uh, either way. Okay. Either way. Cool, cool, cool. I personally like to keep him on the card because it keeps the table a little cleaner. Got it. But got it. Oh, man, that's not, that's not looking good for Vader. Not looking good for Vader. All right. Nicely done. And then I'll turn my order token face down. I mean, well, well why, why am I going to wait? Vader's going to go. <laughs> Uh, sure. And he's going to lightsaber his wow, old master. Wow, 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 wow. So it is six red dice. Good I always Lord. think lightsabers are like didgeridoos. Wow, wow, wow. Like that's in my brain. There's actually like a tiny person inside the lightsaber playing mm -hmm. didgeridoo. Mm -hmm. It's not a great headcanon. I'm not going to lie. That is an awful lot of surges, Josh. <laughs> Do you have a surge? I don't think he's got a single surge. No. All right. <laughs> no. Well, then we will have a crit and hit <laughs> and, and four surges. Hey, you know. I've never seen that roll before. Hey, man. That's impressive. OK, so we got two hits. I've got two red defense dice here. Uh, I will block them both. No! And once again, normally we would be using the pierce keyword, but Jedi, both mm -hmm. of us are immune to pierce. Jedi uh, and Seth. So. so the way it works, so if I time it, it's relentless lets me move, then make a free attack. Mm -hmm. Then I would get to make a regular attack. Is that so? You can right? only make one attack, no matter what, but yeah. even with a special. But got but, it. Okay. So you do have a second action. You could have aimed first. Sure, but uh, um, you don't really need to dodge. Nah, no. Let's say you aimed. Reroll two of these. Uh, I see. 
I've already gone. <laughs> <laughs> we are. Destiny, Destiny yeah. has spoken. The dice were like, no, no, these are surges, sir. All right, you know. How dare you reroll okay. me? We're just, we're just, we're just willing him, willing down the little Jedi. I said what I said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you not hear me? All right, so I have to reveal an order from my pool. It will be, ye Wookies, uh, who will aim? Uh, well, first they will rally. Uh, they will clear one of their suppression, which means they are no longer suppressed. They will aim and fire their carbines at these stormtroopers here. No! So it is uh, seven white dice and a red. Good lord. And we have uh, Pierce one on this. I have to reroll one of these white dice because I don't have enough. Uh, and then I have an aim to me. So I will aim. Check my surge here. I do have surge to hit. Uh, so I'll just reroll this one die. Ooh. All right. And this will turn into a hit. So Josh, I have three hits and three crits. Good lord. So two of the hits will get canceled by cover. So I have four remaining hits. You have to make four armor saves. That seems easy. It's fine. OK, I do have red it's dice, so at least there's that. All right, come on. Ah, you know, all right. Yeah, OK, well, look. I lose one. I got one. Yeah, you got one. All right, chat. Congratulations. I won. I you win did the game. The you, scenario, you won the spiritual game. The scenario was remove one storm. Trooper. Just literally one. <laughs> Just one. And I get my suppression, yes? <laughs> you most certainly do, yes. <laughs> your, your move, sir. Um, <laughs> all right, let me. Let's, um, let's fire back at some Wookiees, okay. I guess. Sure, sure. There is some strategy at firing at units that haven't gone yet because you can add more suppression to oh, them and things sure. like that. Um, but it is your choice. But then those rookies, I mean, even chat, oh, yeah, man, they're terrifying. They got three wounds each. That's incredible. Um, I'm going to shoot at those rookies. I'm going to okay. stand and aim. Wonderful. And then I'm going to uh, shoot at the rookies. And it's four white. Well, now you're missing it. Oh, the my trooper. God. No, three. So you can only get three white three and white, two red. Three white two red. Come on. Man, it's just. Have we been missing the keywords in the DLT the whole time? What keywords are on that card? Um, impact one. Okay, no. So I, that only affects me if I have armor. Got it. Uh, I would not call Wookiees armored unless hair counts. And it does in some I places. I mean, in, in some cases, probably not against lasers though. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have two hits. I've got cover. Nothing through oh, so on, far. Hold on, let me. I did oh yeah. Aim. Oh yeah. You go for it. All right, come on. Here we go. <laughs> okay, we got one. We got one. So folks. cover will come through. Take two of them out. We'll roll one defense die. Wookiees do not have a defensive surge. So I will take another wound. And I will gain another suppression. All right, I've had worse turns, and that's it for that's them. That's it for them. I've got one unit of clones left. Do we focus fire? Mm -hmm. Is it really focusing fire if only one of them has been defeated? <laughs> I mean, it counts, technically. <clears throat> Or do we try and suppress this unit? We're going to try and suppress this unit. Got it. Uh, vehicles, by the way, do not take suppression. Oh, interesting. So, okay. Uh, okay, so they are going to hang out. They will attempt to rally. They do so. Uh, and then they will aim and fire at this unit here. Okay. So we've still got our Z6, and we've got one guy with a rifle. Oh, here we go. Oh, God. Here we go. Uh, we aimed, so I can reroll two dice. So we have three hits and a crit. Cover will cancel two of the hits. So we have a crit and a hit. And so two. So two saves. All right. One. One. We got them. We got one. You're doing it. And we'll put a suppression on them there. Man. Uh, it is worth mentioning because it hasn't come up yet, and the game may be ending before it is relevant. Uh, if you has a suppression, they always have cover one. Oh, interesting. So if they're in the open with a suppression, they've like ducked for cover. Right, and they hit in the and ground. Right. Hit the ground, that kind of thing. Got it. Okay. So just keep that in mind. All right, good to know. Um, all right, yeah, these guys. They have to attempt to rally. So all they right. roll one white die for each suppression they have. So which is one. Uh, they did not roll a surge or a block, so their suppression hangs out. I believe they're courage one. Uh, Some troopers, uh, yeah, courage one. Okay, so they will keep their suppression. Okay. Now Vader has a special rule called compel. Okay. Uh, 
which will not be on that starter card that you have over there because it was something that we added in in the most recent rules update. Interesting. Okay. Uh, which allows you to have this stormtrooper unit gain another suppression, mm -hmm. and then they can make a move for free because normally they would only get one action. Right. So Compel will let you move and then take your one action, if you want to. But it, it has to be a move. It can't be like an aim or Correct. anything. Uh, so in this case, it's probably not relevant. Correct. That's pretty cool, yeah. actually. Vader pushing his troops right. harder and harder. That's awesome. All right, um, let's uh, take a shot at um, those darn Wookiees. Yeah, they We're give me the fear. OK. All right. So what do we got? So I got we can check range. Everybody's in range. Three white. We've got three blaster rifles and a DLT. Come on. We've got a surge to hit. So we can definitely change that guy. Mm-hmm. So that's four. So four hits. Mm -hmm. Two are coming out for cover. Mm -hmm. So we've got two saves. We'll take two more wounds. So the third wound will remove a Wookiee. Oh, thank God. And then we will apply one more wound. All right. All right, not bad. Not bad for a unit on the fire. Not bad. Not too bad. Uh, okay, I have no more units. All right, so it so just has to, be, has to be these your speeders. The speeders. Here. Yep. Um, yeah, so they have to move forward. Oh, man. Want me to. Yeah. Whoa. How do you want this? Go this way? Just be like, we're yeah, out. Bye. Yeah, yeah, that's what we'll do. <clears throat> One up there. Okay. You want to put this guy over here? Yeah. Because then my unit won't have cover. Oh, sure. See, it's those little details, huh? They're little details and how you move and stuff, yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, we'll shoot at uh, those clone troopers. Fantastic. Okay, so uh, we are in your front, mm -hmm. so you can use your, your large Big blasters. Cannon. Okay. Your cannons Got mounted it. on there. Got it. Okay, all right, all right, I can do them. Yeah, got it. All right, perfect. And now let me pull these on out of here. Come on. A uh, one. Ooh. Uh, we do two. Get to, we get to aim before that if we want. Okay, I will aim. Okay. Because that would have been terrible. So then, uh, uh, I do have that. Does become a hit. Mm -hmm. So I'll just do these two. Okay. All right. So that's four total. Four total. I do not have cover. Okay. So I have to make four saves. So four red dice saves here. I do not have a surge on my defense, so two are out. And there we are. All right. And that's the end of the round. Yep. So that's the end of the round there. Uh, we will pick up all of our order tokens. Everybody loses one suppression. Mm -hmm. Remove all the green tokens. Uh, so that's been three rounds. Yeah. Uh, which I think is a great place to stop here, Josh. That's the basics of Legion. We didn't get into a lot of stuff like jumping up terrain, right. uh, line of sight blocking terrain, things like that, how vehicles work that are like the big vehicles and things like that, transports. Right. There's a lot more to Legion than just what we showed here. Uh, but this was sort of your basic introduction uh, that will give you what you need to know to get started. This is super fun. I'm not going to lie. And not just because I did. <laughs> Fairly well, but this is yeah. just super fun and super tactical, and I yeah, love this, it. This lovely duel going oh, on here. Oh, God. It's fantastic. Well, even in our minds, for who would have won? Oh, wow. I, I don't think this is going to go great for the clones or Obi-Wan for the rest. Well, I mean, there are no more clones. That's true. <laughs> that is true. They've all gone on vacation. Well, thank you, Josh, for the game. Thank Chat. you so much. Thank you for hanging out. I point over here because you're over here to me. Mm -hmm. I don't know where you are in accordance to the screen, but, you know. That's what we got to do here. So thank you for joining us. Um, we stream three days a week, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Tony, correct me if I'm wrong here. Uh, 1 p.m. PST. Tuesdays and Wednesdays are hobby streams. Uh, Thursdays are gameplay streams. And I think that's all we got. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. This was super fun. Goodbye, chat. Thank you for having me. Let me learn. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Josh, can you give me your best Obi-Wan hello there? Hello there. Oh, that's perfect. That's very He's a professional Obi-Wan cosplayer. True. That is true. That's, that's true. true.